If you're somebody that's into nature, conservation, just working outdoors and isn't too afraid of getting some holes in some of your shirts, then forestry might be a good fit for you. In this video, we're gonna go over what are the types of work that foresters do, what are the different degree requirements for different things you might wanna do in forestry, as well as where can you find these jobs and some tips to help you get started. This is Ecology Story Mode, the channel where we don't just talk about the environment, I try to help you get more involved. For the types of work that foresters do, it can range anywhere from doing conservation and preservation work to viewing trees or plots of forest as an investment and a financial asset. Most jobs kind of fall somewhere in the middle of doing those two. Some examples for key term searches that you might want to add on to your forestry search is forest restoration, where you could be doing stuff like fuels management, fire, timber sales. This is going to be where you cruise around, you tag trees to be cut down, and you do salvage harvests. And then there's recreation and arbory. In these jobs, you're gonna be spending more time looking at things like hazard trees and cutting down trees that are too dangerous for just the normal forester to come up with a saw and get rid of. Probably the biggest question for a lot of people on these is what is the degree requirement? If you're looking for entry level positions where you're gonna be doing stuff like a forestry technician where you can work on recreation, fire, natural resources, or just working for an arborist as a pruner, trimmer, or a climber of some sort. These don't require anything beyond just a high school diploma in most cases and in most states. You're gonna get training that's gonna be on the job and specific to what work you're gonna actually be doing. But from everything I've seen, these happen at the job that you actually go to. And if you get one job, it just helps you transfer over to the next job. Now, if you wanna work as a forester and be somebody that's more management and plan writing, you're gonna to wanna to get a bachelor's degree. For most agencies, this is gonna be just enough for you to get started and work your way up to a senior level. Obviously, a degree in forestry is gonna be the most ideal for a forestry job. However, a lot of places don't actually offer a bachelor's degree in forestry. So some related fields that you could look into are environmental science, ecology, and depending on the type of job that you're actually looking to get, just the biology degree can help you out. And for anybody in that predicament that's looking for some general advice, I'll put some USA Jobs postings for foresters that'll go into some of the requirements for non-forestry degrees. And if you're one of those crazy people that wants to go and get your master's or even a PhD, if you just wanna use it as a tool to skip ahead to being more of a journeyman or a senior forester, that's something that people do. But outside of that, there's government, academia, and other research extension kind of jobs that are offered all over the country. I'll put a link in the description for the big forest service network that does this kind of research and honestly puts out a lot of really cool papers if you're into that. Now, where can you find these jobs? Even though you're probably not thinking about it if you're early on in the search, this might be the most important thing. For forestry in the feds, which is the part that I'm the most familiar with, here is a map of just where the jobs are in the DOI. The DOI includes the Bureau of Land Management, Fish and Wildlife Service, National Park Service, and the Bureau of Indian Affairs on this map. Unfortunately, even though most jobs are obviously gonna be with the Forest Service, they don't have this fancy page that shows you where all the actual employment is. Instead, here's a map and just generally know that every one of these forest plots is broken up into smaller districts that are all covered by a number of foresters. If you're looking to go into the state and according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, this is where most of the forester jobs are, usually you'll wanna look for a Department of Natural Resources, a Department of agriculture in some states it will just be a forestry department and in others it'll be something like a public lands or something else for private companies if you live near a forest you got to look up logging companies and if you're in a city you're probably gonna have to stick to arbory depending on where you live if you're on the west coast it's probably a bit more lenient and finally if you made it this far this is probably the most important part of the video to you is how do you get started on your job hunt well the first thing like a lot of natural resources jobs forestry is a job that really values physical hands-on experience so doing work as a forestry technician in the summer if you're looking to get your bachelor's degree and doing something like fire natural resources or recreation is really going to help you in applying for jobs every state and locality is going to have their own summer seasonal postings a nice little tool that I learned about is this Forest Service events page. So if you if you want to get into the Forest Service or just do general forestry, this will give you an idea of where the applications are when they're happening. Outside of that, I made an old video on this and I'll link it somewhere above. If you're looking to get into the feds or even with the state usually, there are hiring pathways that help you get less competitive eligibility 
because a lot of the times these are pretty competitive jobs. Unless you're okay with living in the middle of nowhere just because you like the job that much, then it gets a lot less competitive. The third thing I'd really recommend here is spend time trying to figure out just what specific part of forestry really appeals to you. If it's working outside or if it's doing the conservation work. People that go into forestry often transition out of something else and vice versa. So there's a lot of closely related fields here that people go into. The DOI page has a little tool that shows you some of the most popular ones here, but forest management is done by more than just foresters. It's done by a big interdisciplinary group. And by opening it up a little bit, you have more job opportunities, essentially. Natural resource specialists, there's soils, and then there's range, along with just ranger work and recreation and stuff. If you look into these, you might be able to find something else that's closely related, does the same kind of work that you're imagining doing in your head, maybe even more specifically. And it'll hopefully allow you to have a less competitive time getting a job in the future. But yeah, these are just a few tips. I hope something in this video helps, and I hope you have a nice day.